Hey everyone, Mike here. Um, I saw a post on one of the uh, groups the other day, and um, actually, <clears throat> I have an issue with not the post, but I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that he that this uh, person put it up, and um, <clears throat> I just kind of wanted to go over what I used to do and what prompted me to do something a little bit different, which I think is is um, is better because it's uh, <clears throat> it's 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 more friendly to especially a 7x tippet that would be in the two uh, pound range, 2.4 somewhere around there. Um, you if you nick a, a 7x tippet or, or put an abrasion on it that is really micro, you can't see it. Um, there's there's a chance that you could lose a really nice fish when it breaks off with that uh, with that thin of a of a of a line. The the, the 7x leader materials. I mean, I've got pretty thin hair, but it's pretty darn close to hair thin. Um, so what I want to do is show you what I'm doing. Well, first let me show you what I used to do. Here's a um, here's a leader keeper that I used to make, and they. They didn't last that long because they were made out of a metal that would rust. And if you would, if you look here on this one that I made, I think that I made this one a couple of years ago. Uh, it's got rust uh, stains on it around the edges. Plus the back side, um, which it didn't have to be the back side. I could have had the, the uh, line on this side here. It's, it's not that important when you get up into the 8, 10 pound range um, for the abrasions, but man, when you are talking uh, 7X, you need all the help you can get. So with that being said, um, this, although it worked, uh, I wanted something a little bit better. And like I said, the post that I saw, uh, it kind of prompted me to uh, look a little bit deeper and see if there might be a way to uh, put these leader keepers uh, together and, um, and, and be able to do it quickly, efficiently, and, uh, and, and cheaply. That's one of the most important things on the Frugal Fly Rodder um, uh, Facebook group. That's what we're about, is not being cheap. Uh, the word frugal does not necessarily be, mean buying garbage. It means, you know, being smart and wise with the money that you have and, and how you spend it. <clears throat> now, these are uh, three keepers, and these are aged. I mean, they've been around for a long time. And this one here um, would fit this size spool. But if I tried to use this size um, of uh, ribbon on the smaller on the smaller spools, the, the ones that don't have the width in there, then this would bind up and it wouldn't wouldn't work that well. So what I did was I went uh, to see if I could find um, a material that would be the same as this elastic ribbon, and uh, but be at about an eighth of an inch. This these these here are a quarter, and this one here is probably just over just under a, qu a quarter inch. So what we want to do, what I want to do here is show you how easy it is to make one of these up. Now, first thing, a uh, couple things that you're going to need. You need this, uh, this uh, nylon uh, extra flexible tubing. I mean, it's, it's very flexible, and, and that's, that's good because when you pull your leader material through this, it's not going to have any abrasions at all, none. And the other thing that you need is this... Um, nylon uh, elastic or this uh, elastic ribbing and uh, then what you need um, is a 1 16th inch piece of uh, stainless steel rod and then I and I cut this down from some rods that I use for tying uh, tube flies with and the length of the tubing that you're going to want to use on this one is a about just uh, it's probably about five eighths of an inch so this is not going to take long at all you just throw this on here and then start your material on it or your your, uh, your your thread and take it all the way down let's get this so you can see it get take this all the way down 
to where you're about a 32nd of an inch uh, to maybe even a 60, 64th of an inch right there. And this is almost like, you know, tying a fly on your, um, on your vise. Uh, it does uh, behoove you, make, make it much easier if you've got a rotary vise when you put the, the uh, UV finish on it. So that's all you need to do is just get a little bit of a base there. And then I use a, uh, uh, it's a fast stick uh, CA adhesive. It's super glue, and, it, and this is a flexible super glue. I'll have links to all of this stuff if you want to purchase it on, um, on Amazon. Uh, I, I won't carry and sell this stuff, but what I'll do is I'll have a three-foot section of this uh, uh, elastic ribbing. I'll, I'll have 10 pre-cut 5 8 inches long, like this one here, of the uh, uh, tubing. So you'll be able to make 10 of these, uh, of these uh, leader keepers. So actually, what, before I put the uh, CA glue on, what I need to do is I need to cut me a piece of this ribbing uh, that's just about 7 inches long. All right, so now what I'm going to want to do is this is kind of frayed up on the end there. So I'm not going to put a lot of heat on it, but what I want to do is just knock off those, those frayed edges like that. That just sealed that down so that it won't fray out on you. And I'm going to go ahead and do it to the other side as well. That's all you need to do. You just need to hit it. Just barely touch it on there. And then throw yourself a little bit of this CA glue down. And just you run it down almost to where it's just barely coming out the end, and then run it across, almost like you're using this as a as a pin to draw on the um, on that piece of tubing, and then start your thread. It doesn't have to be real pretty here, and then flip it around, and run you another bead of. Uh, super glue on there. Let's go ahead and get this on here so you can see what I'm doing. Run this across like so. And then what we're going to do is just take the um, ribbon and bring it around to where it meets the end of the thread there. Put it down and then run the thread on like so. And then that way you can get it lined up and once it's all lined up, then you can go ahead and, uh, and cinch everything down and put yourself a nice little even um, base of, of uh, thread here. I'm using a uh, three-yacht um, Orvis tying thread, and it is a woven round thread. It builds up really fast and nice. And there we go. So... Um, we got the build up there, so now all we need to do is just finish it off to, to tie it off, like so. And now what we're going to do is put a little UV uh, clear finish on uh, and uh, lock everything in there. And the way I do that is almost like I do the CA glue. I'm going to kind of put little beads down and just run it across as if I'm writing on this thread so that I don't get too much on it and end up um, with any large drips, uncontrollable drips. And then just kind of go around and see if there's any dry spots. If there are, go ahead and fill them in. This is where the uh, rotary vise comes in because what this does is it allows the uh, UV finish to evenly distribute perfectly around that um, around around that uh, material that we've got tied in onto that tubing. So go ahead and spin it for a second there until it's really nice, and then while it's spinning, hit it with the light. It doesn't take much, and then you can slow your, you just slow it down, and then you can stop, and then just. Put your light on it for whatever length of time you need to to uh, cure the uh, UV finish. Um, 
the, the less UV finish you use, the better. Uh, you could probably just use regular head cement if you want to. Uh, it's mostly just to keep it from unraveling on you, but uh, the UV finish will definitely keep it from, it locks everything in. Just like that. So now, now all we're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, first need to, we'll, we'll pull it off. And then we're going to, um, I mean, you can see this thing actually does a really good job. You can see how we've got our little tag end here where, the, where it's going to, I'll, I'll show you how it works here in a second. And then you've got your inlet right here. Now with this 7X tippet, my gosh, man, it's like hair thin. So I don't know about you, but I'm going to use a little, I'm going to need a little bit of help to get that threaded through there. And here's, here's that 7X. And there we go. And then pull it through just like that. And find out what side of that line you're on. There we go. And it looks pretty good all the way around there. So now what you'll be able to do, you got a little tag in there. You can pull as much of this uh, leader that you need off. And then to, to get any excess back onto the tube, you just grab your tag and spin it back in the opposite direction until you see your, uh, your leader come up to within about an inch or so of the end. And man, that stuff is like hair thin and it's really, t it's really tough to see. So um, yeah, there you go. There's the uh, material. You can see down through there that it's very narrow. Uh, even though that elastic is as narrow as it is, the key is keeping the attention of the uh, leader material through this tube and the, uh, the smaller diameter of the, um, of the elastic ribbon will, will keep it really nice and, and tight there. And when you pull it, you're not pulling against any metal or plastics. The one that I saw the other day was, um, was used with um, uh, plastic um, uh, cones, plastic uh, beads, that's what it was, Cla plastic beads, and that stuff is uh, either extruded or uh, I'm sure it's extruded or, or uh, uh, injection molded, and it's going to have seams on it, which could, which your 7X material could um, run across and, and put, put abrasions on it, and you risk losing a r really nice fish. So anyway, yeah, this is uh, a pretty easy thing to do. You can see you can grab the tag, tag there, the tag end. It holds it in real nice and tight. Um, you can extend that tag if you want to a little bit longer. You can make them shorter. I, I think that's a perfect size when I've got it right there. That's uh, it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, shoot them at me on Facebook. I'm not real good. Uh, I apologize. I'm hoping to get better uh, in the future on answering any um any of the YouTube uh, questions, but um, f the Facebook group that we have, the uh, uh, frugalflyrotter.com, we talk about things like this on how you can do your own thing, save a little bit of money, and I'm not talking about saving money by buying junk, I'm talking about buying really good stuff with as little money as possible or only buying what you need. There's no, no sense in going out and buying more than what you need. So anyway, this is Mike. Consider subscribing, and until the next video, we'll catch you later. Thanks.